So I'm going to take you through all the guitar parts in Bad Kids to the Back. It's quite intricate, there's a lot of parts going on, but it's really fun to play. Um, there's going to be less harmonic analysis, because that would mean the video would be like an hour long. I'm just going to focus on the parts themselves and some technical points here and there. Uh, I've gone through the album version and live versions as well, and this is what I've come up with. So let's get straight into it. first thing to note is the time feel. It's got that slightly swung, but not too swung feel that's, you know, quite hard to to really lock into. Um, and you've got to be really hot on those, those stabs. Everyone needs to hit them bang on together. And that's what makes it so effective. Next, we'll go to the B section and the guitar comes a bit more forward. get to that little descending pattern at the end later on because it comes back again um, and I'll show you what that is. So that second part's quite intricate so let's slow it down. So next is back to an A section, but the guitar takes the main melody. Again, we'll slow that down. Take a note of the articulation, it's really important. So you've got a few few little little slides like that in there, um, and also um, that bit it kind of slightly pulls back or straightens it out more. But it's just little things like that 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 make it stand out and sound better, you know.
So now there's the second part of the B section again, going into the C section, but it's got a really cool harmonized melody that the guitar plays, or live the guitar and violin or keys. It's my favorite part. Um, we'll, we'll take each uh, harmony line separately and then put it all together. Now in the drum solo you've really got to concentrate on the pulse and keep that vamp riff really spot on underneath what the drummer's doing. Uh, you've got to be comfortable with subdivisions as well because the first note comes in on the E of one and you've got to be very certain about that and come in authoritatively. <laughs> So that end lick there is this. Um, you've got this descending fourths thing here. Pretty simple, but they it adds in what the melody top line is doing as well. And so by putting those together, you get
pretty neat little part. So there you go. I think that's all pretty much right. Um, it's a lot of fun to play when you get the parts bang on. It's it's a very good tune. I like it. So yeah, I think that's about it. Check out some of my other videos, perhaps. Like, comment, subscribe, and all that. Um, and if you've got any suggestions of another song you'd like to see me do this with, then please leave a comment down below. Uh, yeah, thanks very much for watching.